So let's jump over into the service map here where we are presented with an overview of our infrastructure right now. All of these services here are instrumented with either Elastic APM or OpenTelemetry. More on that in a few minutes. We can see that we have the front end, that's the e-commerce store we just saw in my browser, talking to this node service, which is then fanning out to all of those backend services in different languages. We can see that everything appears healthy, so the services themselves are healthy, and we can tell by the green uh, ring around these services. We can also tell that we have a fair amount of databases involved in this. We have an Oracle database back here, Elasticsearch up here, and also Redis um, back here. Let us now take a look at the list of services and maybe start filtering for certain things. We wanted to look at only the Android transactions. So what we can do is we can simply filter this down for user agent OS name, and then uh, filter this OS name for just the one that we're interested in in Android in our case. Every transaction, every event that we capture is enriched with a lot of metadata information, such as the user agent if it involves front-end services. If I now look at my ROM service as an example, I can then continue my drill down and look at every individual page load. In addition, I can also see what the user interacted with. So if I switch this over to user interaction, I can see that these users coming from the Android devices were placing an order in our e-commerce store. This place order transaction, if we scroll down, involves lots of different services. And we can already see the first arrows appearing here. If I filter down this histogram chart, I can get a better overview of some of the other transactions within that time range. And if I step through some of them to just find a successful transaction, we can see the displaced order transaction originating from the front-end RUM service is actually hitting many different backend services. And we use distributed tracing to trace that flow across all of those involved services. So we can see the different services involved here. We can see that we uh, are talking to Redis here. So this is a Redis query that we're executing. And if we continue going down, uh, we can just see how this propagates through all the services we have. Scrolling back up here, we can also see that we have a database involved where we read something uh, using a SQL query. If I go back to my list of services, we can also see um, how we have some cloud services involved in this as well. Actually, let's maybe use the service map for this. It might uh, illustrate that point clearer. So back here, we have this fraud detection service, which we have hooked up to that email service. And if we take a look at this service, we can see that this one is actually running in AWS Lambda as a serverless function. It's not called that frequently. And if we keep scrolling down here, we can also see that it's encountering some of those cold starts, which are very important for those serverless functions. If those happen, the service can be very slow. Investigating some of my um, transactions here, we can see what's going on uh, in my Lambda function, and we can also see that we have some of those cold starts happening. 